she was gone, but was given a second chance. Everyone. She comes from a family with a history of heart attacks. From a young age, she understood that high cholesterol and blood pressure can lead to plaque buildup and heart attacks. Her doctor scheduled her for an EKG, which showed mild ischemia, but she was given the all clear for the next five years. However, her sister, a nurse, warned her that heart problems might not show up on EKGs and insisted on heart catheterization or heart x-rays. She persisted for five months, urging her primary physician to arrange the necessary x-rays, even resorting to threatening the doctor. Eventually, the doctor scheduled a heart catheterization for her on March 1, 2006. During the procedure, it was discovered that three of her arteries were 80% blocked. Her cardiologist arranged for a heart stent procedure on March 16, 2006, which was considered a simpler alternative to open-heart surgery. Unfortunately, during the stent placement, a small hole was accidentally poked in her heart, leading to profuse bleeding. Unaware of this, she was taken back to the intensive care unit, where she began experiencing severe complications. Her friend, a nurse, advised her not to be alone in the hospital, and it proved crucial. The nurse administered morphine, and she drifted into unconsciousness. However, her friend noticed alarming signs such as dilated eyes and a drop in blood pressure. A code blue was called, and emergency measures were taken to stabilize her. The doctor drained three bags of blood from her chest cavity over the next 24 hours. She described a moment of darkness but felt a profound sense of peace, akin to taking her last breath. Later, she perceived a bright and glorious light, reminiscent of the transition from life to the afterlife. In that timeless moment, she found herself on a dark stage, feeling like a spotlight was shining brightly on her. Convinced she had passed away, her soul seemed to connect with God telepathically. She began to pray, asking for forgiveness and expressing a desire to extend her life. As she finished, an angelic face with a beautiful smile approached, assuring her that everything would be okay. She couldn't identify whether it was a nurse, an angel, or her spirit re-entering her body. Soon after, she heard a nurse announcing the return of her pulse, and after four days in the hospital, her cardiologist released her. The nurse explained that a tiny hole formed when a stent nicked her heart, causing cardiac arrest. In those critical minutes, prayers from a loved one and a minister in the waiting room seemingly played a role in her survival. Grateful for her second chance at life, she shares her story, emphasizing the comfort she felt during the ordeal and the love that surrounded her. Transitioning to her second experience, she found herself in the company of those who had passed away. Unsure of how she got there, a constant presence accompanied her. Recognizing familiar faces, she felt pure joy at being herself without the constraints of a physical body. A voice encouraged her to think about Earth, and an image of the beautiful autumn trees in western New York appeared in her mind. Without speaking, she acknowledged Earth's beauty through her thoughts, which could be heard and understood by those around her. Then she saw herself and thought, that body wasn't so bad, acknowledging her struggle with weight. She also saw her husband and four children, feeling a desire to return but resisting the pull. Despite the inner conflict, she decided to strike a deal, agreeing to go back only if she could remember the experience vividly. The response was affirmative, but she soon regretted her choice as the pull grew stronger. In defiance, she agreed to return but insisted on taking the longer route. As she journeyed back, she witnessed future events from her life. Approaching the hospital, she descended through its roof, observing people on different floors. Eventually, she found herself in the operating room, witnessing doctors and nurses working on her lifeless body. Despite her reluctance, she was compelled back into her body, taking a breath and feeling the pain of life returning. As she emerged from the recovery room, tears streamed down her face and she longed for the comforting presence of the afterlife. Speaking in tongues, she tried to hold on to the memory of that serene place where love and beauty were beyond words. In English, she conveyed to the nurse her reluctance to return. The nurse, aware of her responsibilities as a mother, reminded her of a baby needing her. This concludes today's experience. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and blessed.